let's start simple with this. And here's this stuff. Now, it can be worded in a dozen different ways, but here's the gist of what you may be told. You're told, in this case, how much IV fluid you're going to give. Let's give 1,000 milliliters in that bag, okay? 1,000 milliliter bag of IV fluid. And by the way, as we've known before from the earlier videos from last week, it doesn't matter what the liquid is. I mean, it matters for the real world. For doing the calculations, it doesn't matter a hill of beans, okay? All I must do is know how much I'm getting. And I'm going to do that over a 10-hour time frame. So I'm going to give 1,000 milliliters for 10 hours. But for this, the starting point is milliliters per hour, meaning I take milliliters divided by hours. Well, I got milliliters here. I divide by those hours, and I got what? 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. So V is going to be, see, now I did this. I'm not doing the, the, the formula yet. All I'm doing is a calculation to find out what to plug into the formula. Well, now I know. What's V? 100. Now, it's mainly, usually best, when you're doing a calculation, a dosage calculation, and the further we go, the more important, you need to put the units you're dealing with here while you work the problem out. Don't do that here. Although this is the number of milliliters per hour, don't write ml per hour. No, just the number's fine. That's good. Just leave it alone. Just put the number 100. Over, let's see. What's T going to be? Oh, man. Uh, oh, come on. No brainer. The number 60. Always the number 60. Well, let's see. Oh, now i got to know the calibration of the drop factor. I told it to you. 15. So I take 15. Now, stop right there. Do not proceed further. Realize what you can do. Hmm, about three different things you could do that are correct in a bunch of wrong ways, but let's see about the right ways. You could sort of kind of do 100 divided by 60, then times 15. Don't do that. No, stop, stop, stop. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. We could do 100 times 15 and divide by 60, but don't, don't, don't do that either. Here's what you're gonna do. Here's why it's so simple. Here's why it's been around for decades before calculators were even invented. Some nurse is sitting there at the nurse's station with a piece of paper and a pencil in her brain, and oh, look at this. 15 goes into 60 four times. Right, there's four 15s in 60. Okay, 15 cancels out, 60 to make four. Okay, 15 goes in to 60 four times. That's a four, in case you couldn't tell. Now the only math you have left is what? In your head. 100 divided by four. And what's 100 divided by four? Why, the answer is, let's see, ah, 25. I mean, that's the answer. That's the number of drops per Minute. That's the answer. Now, some major cautions here. Be very careful. C is a number of drops per milliliter. That's that drop factor, one of those numbers. Okay? The answer is in drops per minute. Don't confuse drops per milliliter, which is the drop factor, with the answer in drops per minute. Careful about that. Okay? So, all you have to know, you've learned, that's it. You've done the problem. You know you're going to give this patient, you're going to drip, 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 25 drops each minute. You have your 1,000 liter bag of IV fluid. You got to give us over 10 hours time. You start dripping. You count drip, 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 drip drop, drop, whatever the thing's called. You count, okay, one, two, three. And when it's dripping at 25 drops each minute, it's dripping at the proper rate. And you see on that picture that accompanies all this, there's that little, uh, the, the photograph of the nurse giving the IV, there's a thing called the roller clamp. It rolls one way, it clamps down tighter on the IV line, the IV tubing, and it squeezes it off a little bit and slows it down. Roll that the other way, opens it back up and it goes faster. So you merely adjust the drip rate by the little roller clamp and you count drops per minute. Now, in the next few videos, I'm going to go over more of these, but that is what you're doing. You're putting V here, milliliters per hour. You're putting the number 60 right here. 
you're putting one of these numbers here, which is you're told something, whatever it is, and there's the answer. But consider, oh, wait a minute. Consider, what if the number 10 had been the number right here? Doing some what if in here, then 10 goes into 60 six times. Hope you understand what I'm saying. If you don't back this up about 30 seconds and do it again, if the 10 goes here, 10 goes into 60 six times, and the math is 100 divided by six. What if the number 20 goes here? If you have that IV set, that calibration, that drop factor, then 20 goes into 60 three times, you take 100 divided by three, and that's the answer. Or, this is even easier, what if it's a micro drop IV set, the number 60 goes here? Then this 60 will cancel out this 60 evenly, nothing left, and the answer is, in this case, 100. Ooh, hope you caught that too. So again, that's why this is such a simple way to do these problems. Any drop factor that you'll see out there in the real world, one of those numbers, or maybe 12, hey, if it's 12, 12 goes into 65 times. You divide 100 by five. You'll never see a drop factor or a calibration on these IV sets with some goofy number like 17, 35. It's always a number that goes into 60 with a whole number. So you're dividing this number by a whole number every time. Boy, that's pretty simple. So let's stop again and we'll go into the next exciting lecture video and do some more of these and uh, see where it goes from there.